wonder now if we go talk to Frog and show him the broken Mazamune, maybe that will inspire him to help us dodge all these fools. Yes. I am no hero. There is not I can do to help. Can we show him the Masamune? No? Hmm. Is this kid... Did he come back to his house? Here he is. Tata. R forgive me. Truth be told, I plucked this badge from the floor of the tavern. tavern. Some besotted froggish fellow dropped it as he stumbled out. I thought to sell it, but then everyone started calling me the hero when they saw it. And well... I didn't know what to do but go along with it. But it's too much for me, this hero business. I've had enough. Here, you can have the badge. Tata's father. Oh, what was I thinking? I knew it'd turn out to be something like this. I ought have seen it sooner. Oh, letting myself get all swept up when I should have been looking out for my boy. Well, from now on, I'll make sure both of our feet stay on the ground. For his dear departed mom's sake. Aw. Oh. Worry not, he's my grandson. He won't let a little thing like this spell the end to his great deeds. He told me already his next goal is to become the legendary sea captain Bluebeard. <laughs> hmm, wonder if I'm going to be hearing that name in the future. All right, now we have the badge. That's what we need for Frog, right? There's got to be something we can take to him to get him to come around, right? Ooh, this thing wasn't in here before. Oh, stop that, you bad boy. What the... That was weird. All right, Frog, come on. We got the badge now. Y you've returned? Th that badge! I see. So you met the lad. But there's not a thing I can do against the Fiend Lord. To fight him would require the legendary Masamune, which is... No, it matters a little. Even if I had the blade, I had no right to wield it. Please. Believe me be. Finally. Oh, it's the hilt. A broken sword hilt. This must be part of the Masamune. It's engraved with archaic letters. I think I can make it out. Um, let's see. M, E, L, C, H, I, O, R. Melchior? That guy from Medina Village? What does this mean, Chrono? So... Melchior made the Masamune. How did it end up back here 400 years in the past? There are none alive who could mend the Masamune. Well, that probably means we need to go back to the... to 1000 AD, right? So to do that, we would come back up here. Maybe it's time to swap out Morrow with Robo, too. Oh, he levels up out of the party. That's nice. So we want to go to Medina Village. Is there one that just takes me straight to Medina Village? Yeah. Okay. So Melchior is down here, right? He's got some explaining to do. Melchior. Oh, you're back again. Come to see my Colette. Th this sword, it's the Mazamune. How, how did you get this? Why would your name be engraved on that sword? That is a very long story, but that is the story you came to hear, is it not? Of course, tell us about the Mazamune. Can you reforge it? I could. Were it possible for us to get our hands on some of the dreamstone from which the sword was made? Dreamstone. No record of such a substance exists in my memory banks. It's nowhere to be found anymore. It was glittering red stone, once valued even more than gold. Unfortunately, that was long, long ago. Longer than you could imagine. Well, I think you'd be surprised what I could imagine. Well, let us just say I doubt you'll ever find any, but if you should, I'll be more than happy to repair the Masamune. Keep it with you until then. So now I think it's finally time to head to 65 million BC. Mystic Mountains. 
This is where I was earlier when I got lost in time. So hopefully things are a little different now. Oh yeah, they're already different. What the hell are these? Luca. Those things, they're all green and scaly. This life form is most perplexingly unusual. It appears to possess both the human and dinosaur traits. If I remember correctly from someone I talked to here, lightning stuns dinosaurs? And if these have dinosaur traits, they should be weak to lightning. Did seem to do a lot of damage. Learned Cyclone Sweep Dual Tech. Okay. We're outnumbered. Ooh, this is cool. Oh yeah. Cave girl. I remember this girl. The reptites look so weird in this animation. Whoa. Chrono has heard the siren song. He is completely enamored. Who, who is that? Her combat abilities far exceed those of ordinary humans. This shift in behavior corresponds to an unfavorable change in targets. See what Cyclone Sweep does. <laughs> okay. That was good. I like that attack. Luca, what are you? This female is in severely agitated state. Provocation is inadvisable. Is she trying to pick a fight? Chrono! Whoa, what's happened to me? Woman, you strong. What name? Chrono name? Good name. Me name. Me. Ooh, how do I say this? Isla? I think it's Isla. Ayla? I'm gonna say Isla unless I just start saying Ayla. Isla. Me, Isla. Isla likes strong men. So Isla like Chrono. Looks like somebody's got a new friend. You strong, too. Isla likes strong person. Man, woman. Both like. I, I don't, I mean, I'm not. What does she think about Robo? He, yes. You strange person, but strong too. That is because I am a robot. 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 Isla not no robot. A robot is a humanoid machine constructed by humans. What you say? No say word Isla not no. Isla head go boom. Chrono, where from? An, an explanation cannot be formulated within the bounds of her understanding. <laughs> Very technical burn. We're from far away after the day after tomorrow. Haha, <laughs> you funny. Isla like funny person. It's no use. You come village, talk and eat, dance, drink, fun. We'd love to go, but we're looking for some dream stone right now. Stone? Stone everywhere. Here? There, village, Isla give you many, many stone. Ioka village this way. Follow Isla. Oh, I, how do I do a, I can't do the backflip. Damn it. All right. Good, Chrono come. Night soon, finish ready for party. Chrono this way. Listen, Isla. We make new friend. Strong man, Chrono. Chrono friend, Robo. Luca. Ooga. Now, dance Bobonga. Hey, I remember this music from the fair. And that dance, too. Chrono. Eat, drink, dance, sing. Is this the most appropriate use of our time in the current situation? You know what, Robo, you're right, but you gotta learn to live a little bit, dude. Good music. We want to pass down many, many generations. Well, you definitely did that. Good job, Luca. Hey, T. Chrono, you, you've got to try some of this. Uh, 
Okay, let's try some. Watch that. You a man or a mouse? Drink it in one goal. Oh boy. Our skull will be smashed. <laughs> Burp. Rare red rock. Have rock means strong person. Isla most strong Ioka village. So Isla rock. Chrono want. Chrono challenge Isla. Win. Isla give. Chrono challenge Isla. I've been in better condition, but let's do it. Isla go. Get more skull smash. Party now. So drink. Chrono and Isla have battle. Who drink more? Oh. I've got a head start. Isla, we start now. Mash B many time. I don't know which one is B. Isla, no more, Chrono. Isla lose, give rock. Chrono, drink good. Drink one more to strong Chrono. Or maybe too much drink. Good morning. It appears that liquid induces peculiar behavior in humans. Luca. Ugh, my head. I did what last night? Liar. Oh, but what? Why does my head hurt like this? Hey, where did these footprints come from? It's gone. The gate key's gone. Oh, shit. The thief must have left these prints. Without the key, we're stuck here forever. This is bad. We have to go see Isla. Yeah, that is bad. That's very bad. Isla. Alright, wake up now. Uh, oh, Chrono, early awake. Ugh. Ugh. Too much skull smash. Sorry to wake you, but someone stole something important from us while we were asleep. What? Stole? Must be Reptite. Uh, Chrono, go with Isla. We find bad Reptite. Who else come? Um... You know, I think I will keep Robo. Isla. Maybe village person see. We go ask. Chrono come. Hi oh, you come see me. What you have? Fang, petal, horn, feather? Give me six, three each, two kind. I give you good strong thing. What you give me? We have a lot of these because I was very lost and I wandered around in the hunting grounds for a long time. So we're gonna go talk to the people here, see if anyone saw anything. Me see reptites. Come from meeting grounds. Go south. Forest maze. Where Kino. No see all day. Alright, well, let's head down here. See what's up. Isla. Kino. What you do? Say now. Kino, sorry, Isla. Kino take Chrono stuff. Why take? Kino like Isla best. Isla say like Chrono. Kino mad. Madam Isla. Violence is never the best solution. Kino know why Isla hit. Isla no like Kino. No, Isla like Kino best. So Isla no want Kino do bad thing. Bad thing not good. Isla. Kino sorry, Isla. Kino sorry, Chrono. Give thing back Chrono. No have. Reptites take. Reptite? Where Reptite go? Run trees. There. Isla go. Kina go back village. Isla gone. Kino protect Ioka. Okay, Isla. Kino man. Isla die. Isla have baby. Then Kino chief. Madam Isla, my apologies for implying you may have been out of control. Follow Reptite. Get Chrono thing. Is this a chest? Is this what passes for a chest around here? Another chest over here. Athenian water. Just go down. Yeah. Another ambush. Okay, Isla learned kiss. That's a heal. Hmm. Well, what's up here? Okay, so these are dinosaurs, right? Which means they're weak to lightning. Oh. Well, certainly appears so. There's a chest here. Mid potion. Got a mid ether. Alright. Reptite layer. Let's save before we go in.
Right, we're in the reptite layer. I kind of thought it would like ask me if I was sure I wanted to jump down on the hole first, but it's whatever. The hell are you? This is some kind of dinosaur, right? Yeah, defense was lowered by electric shock. Nice. These are actual reptites, ignoring us for now. You know, I mostly just have Isla attacking anyways. I think I actually will try the Berserk Ring on her. Like, Robo can heal. I think it'll be really powerful on her. What in the world? Could those filthy apes have crafted something this advanced? Isla. Azala. Azala. And so the hairless apes arrive. Ah, uh, and these new ones appear cut from a finer cloth than Isla. Perfect. This should make things easier. Tell me, apes, what is the purpose of this device? Hell no, we're not telling this dude. I suppose you need some motivation. So be it. Come, Lisbell. Is that a Triceratops? That is a swole Triceratops, holy shit. It's a dinosaur. We're using lightning on it, right? Defense lowered by electric shock. Good, good. Get some attacks in here. And I'm assuming there'll be phases. We'll have to keep doing that every once in a while. Oh, let's turn auto off now, please. Ooh, electric discharge. All right. Let's do it one more time and we'll get healed up while it's... Uh... Oh, shit. I didn't get robo healed in time. I think you'll survive, though. Ooh, just barely. So I can use lightning to open him up for damage. Is there something I should be doing to stop him from discharging though? I'm just gonna keep, keep my people healed and keep doing this. Oh, we got him. Nice. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that wasn't great. I think there was supposed to be probably a way to stop him from doing the electrical discharge. I don't know. Maybe I should have just kept hitting with, hitting him with electricity. The apes beat Nisbel. Give thing back, Chrono. Now. Very well. You've won today. But know that we reptites are the rulers of this world. We'll not surrender to. We'll not surrender it to you, filthy apes. No damage detected. The gate key appears to be operational. Isla. Azala come anytime. Isla, no. Urgh. Urgh. <laughs> All right, guys, that'll do it for episode eight. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.